friends, you might be wondering where CBC is right now. This isn't her house or her living room. Well, that's because CBC is finally at college. Her first semester with Mia University starts next week. CBC has been loving college life so far, but she knows it will be different once classes actually start. So she has prepped herself with her three H's: homework, including schedules, notes, and a study kit; health, with nutrition and napping; and happiness, with mental health and hobbies. Let's get going with college-bound Caroline, or I guess now that you're actually at college, I should say. College bold, Caroline. Let's take a look at college bold Caroline's first H: homework. CBC is prepared for class homework to begin. She even got herself a special bullet journal to take notes during classes. Along with her journal, CBC has separate binders, notebooks, or folders for each course. She's also created herself a class kit complete with highlighters, pens, mechanical pencils, regular pencils, extra lead, erasers, sticky notes, a ruler. And a few cute stickers just for fun. CBC has also expanded her kit to include several note-taking apps on her electronic devices. She's even got a portable keyboard to attach to her iPad, since she types faster than she handwrites. Now, some professors don't allow electronics of any kind in their classes. CBC will have to take handwritten notes, so she has created a super secret shorthand. Using abbreviations and symbols, CBC will be able to keep up with the lecture. And speaking of keeping up, CBC has also created her study schedule. She has calculated three hours of homework per week for each class. CBC has carefully studied each of her syllabuses and written down every assignment in her calendar. Because she knows the syllabus can change throughout the semester, CBC used a pencil to fill out her schedule. She also gave herself one review day per week and extra study time before quiz. Test and exam days. CBC has created another kit for her homework. It has similar items to her class kit, but also includes water, snacks, and something to sit on, like a cushion, picnic blanket, or hammock. She also plays classical music in the background to help her focus. Another sound that helps CBC concentrate is her own voice. She reads all of her notes aloud to help reinforce them in her mind. Some people may find CBC's class and homework kits to be overkill, but CBC would always rather be overprepared than under. To continue her preparation, let's examine CBC's second H: health. CBC has set up a health plan for herself. Keeping up her wellness will allow CBC to operate at maximum capacity. When she is exhausted or sick, CBC can't do her best work. So she's planning to eat healthy and exercise often. While she'll indulge occasionally, obviously there has to be ice cream on her birthday. CBC will usually consume nutritious meals. She also keeps nutritious snacks stocked at all times. CBC's go-to snacks are edamame, ants on a log, and her own specially made trail mix, which includes dried fruits, mango, apple, and cherries. With nuts and dark chocolate, yum yum, and that fully filled water bottle always stays close by. That water is especially important when CBC is at the gym. She plans on hitting up the gym between three to four times a week. She'll also be attending some free exercise classes offered through the university, including dance, show off those moves, girl, and weightlifting. Sun's out, guns out. Between working, homework, and classes, CBC knows she'll be getting pretty tired. So she's found some napping times during the afternoon, usually between two and four p.m. when she's the most sleepy. She'll also try to get about eight hours of sleep every night. CBC knows that when she doesn't get enough rest, she starts getting sick. And while she'll do her best to hit her pillow early every night, CBC will keep a health kit just in case. 
I know, I know, yet another kit. But this one is just as important as her class and homework kits. Usually, her health kit includes items such as band aids, tweezers, disinfectant wipes, antiseptic cream, safety pins, hand sanitizer, pain reliever pills, and breath mints. Keep that breath minty fresh, friends. And let's continue keeping it fresh with CBC's third H happiness. While college life has been pretty easy so far, CBC knows that when the semester really starts, the stress will also begin. So she has made plans to protect her mental health. Finding outlets to release stress helps CBC stay mentally balanced. She uses her hobbies to help relax. When CBC finds herself starting to become tense, she pulls out her favorite rosemary garlic bread recipe and kneads that dough. Or takes out her bamboo training sword for a fencing session. En garde, monsieur! Or she just hangs out with her friends. Pillow fight! Spending time with hobbies may seem odd to some people. Shouldn't CBC concentrate solely on her studies? Or use all her time to toil on tasks? Well, CBC knows that her mind and body are connected. When her body is stressed out, CBC won't be able to focus on her homework. Taking 20 minutes to release that tension allows her to enter a healthier mind space where she can retain information. CBC also de stresses through journaling. At least once a week, she takes the time to journal about whatever she has been thinking, feeling, and experiencing. Her journaling time is a chance for CBC to analyze her mental health for the week. If she finds that she's in a difficult space or spiraling down, CBC will reach out to the free counseling service on campus. She is prepared by writing down the contact number and email address. Even though it might be a little nerve wracking, CBC knows that there's no shame or guilt in admitting that she needs help. And speaking of help, I hope that CBC's H's have been of assistance to you with homework, including schedules, notes, and a study kit, health with nutrition and napping, and happiness. With mental health and hobbies. Well, CBC has to pack all of her class, homework, and health kits in her backpack for the first day of classes while you take a look at the game for this, our last and final lesson for college prep. Good luck on your collegiate journey in the future. CBC will be keeping her fingers crossed for your college bound career. Hey, hey.